Servus, Männer, it's Red Pill Germany again. Ich wünsche euch einen frohen Stolzmonat. I wish you a happy, well, Stolzmonat. Because that is what we celebrate this month in June of 2023 here in Germany. And in today's presentation, I want to explain to you what this is and what I think about that. So let's get right into it. As you all know, the month of June has been declared by our global leaders, the month of international compliance with the current thing. I want to put this statement very clearly at the front of the presentation because it is my conviction by observation that this has nothing to do with any kind of non-reproductive insertion practices or whatever or any kind of identity or orientation. No, this uh, rainbow color and the alphabet thing is just a compliance question. It is just a symbol that states that you have to conform to everything they put in front of you in real time without questioning, even if it is a direct contradiction of what they told you yesterday. And you can clearly see that by the context in which this flag is being used, it has nothing to do with any marginalized groups anymore these days. It uh, came up in the context of the China bug protests. It came up in the context of uh, some special operations in Eastern Europe. It comes up in all sorts of contexts. And the rainbow flag just means non-questioning compliance with globalist elites. And of course, it isn't a rainbow flag anymore. It is an evolving monstrosity of eye cancer with all sorts of colors and geometrical shapes in it that should represent this, that and the other now. And the very fact that this symbol of domination and subordination changes almost on a daily basis, it seems, is just really fitting Uh, to what I just explained, right? That you have to overwrite, or the normies, the NPCs, they have to overwrite the message that they're spewing in real time on a daily basis. All right, so many people in the German-speaking realm have obviously, as is the case in other countries too, they have become sick of all that. And uh, for a couple of years already, um, they said that, well, in this month, um, we should not celebrate any kind of rainbow stuff or alphabet soup stuff but our national pride instead. So this idea is not new, but um, this year um, an activist took the opportunity punctually on time on June 1st and he started a Twitter hashtag, of course, um, hashtag Stolzmonat. Now, of course, all the criticism that applies to hashtag activism applies to um, this one also, but it is very, very successful so far for what it is. Uh, that means it is on top of the Twitter trends in Germany and it forces the mainstream to respond to it. And maybe this has only been possible on Twitter since Elon Musk took over because I've seen on YouTube, for example, it is pretty much, um, yeah, you don't find it when you look for it, let's just say. But on Twitter, it is trending. Ending. So it was started by Shlomo, one of the very well-known alternative media figureheads uh, from the German-speaking realm. And uh, it didn't take long for the AFD, for example, as a, a large political party now, actually, uh, to adopt this hashtag. And uh, it has been trending, as I said, and the mainstream is forced to write articles about it and to, you know, give some sort of an answer and to position itself. And that is the actual effect that was intended, I believe, with this hashtag activism or with this form of slacktivism, you might even say. It is not the memes that come out now on an hourly basis or the uh, trending position or all the retweets and mentions. That is not the purpose of it all. Uh, maybe it is fun for some people. I'm not active on Twitter, as you might know, because I don't really like this medium. So I don't think that is the purpose. The purpose is When you think of martial arts, it would be a blow or a maneuver that doesn't allow you to end the fight or win the fight, but that forces your opponent into an unfavorable position. And from that new position that favors you now, you have a chance to score. Yeah? This is at least how I see this. And this only works if it is successful. And maybe 
maybe Elon taking over at Twitter uh, made it possible this year that it would trend because under the old Twitter regime, I'm very sure they would have sanitized the thing um, after an hour and it would never have even trended. They would have deleted everything right away. And maybe it is a little bit too early to say how the establishment will respond to that. But after a quick search, everything that I could find was the typical N-word name calling and hyperventilating responses that, you know, don't really make the mainstream look too good. They just don't look too hot when they have to react to that. And that during a time when the AFD is, according to some polls, the uh, third largest party by votes on the federal level, not just in some eastern state, but on the federal level with 18-19% on par with the Social Democrat Party. And they are larger in the polls now than the Green Party by a very large and significant margin. But I will talk about that in more detail in a dedicated video, of course, coming out hopefully soon, hopefully next week. So maybe I can add towards the end that Germany, of course, is no exception, quite the opposite. Maybe we are even um, more at the top of the movement when it comes to all these displays of rainbow colored alphabet pride. You have large corporations that, well, I wouldn't call them German. They have their origins in Germany, but they are multinationals, of course, now, like uh, Bosch or Volkswagen, you know. They are shamelessly displaying this rainbow flag next to their company flags next to their logos and as we all know these um, company logos on Twitter or something they get these overlays um, <laughs> with the rainbow color in this month but it doesn't stop there you could say well it's a private corporation they can do whatever they want well they also fly this flag in front of public buildings in Germany even the Reichstag uh, I guess it was some years ago it wasn't even this year but it has one of these rainbow flags and then, as you all know, in the world of sports, our national team, they, they show this rainbow flag and they don't really show the national colors anymore. Um, Angela Merkel tried to take down um, the German flag from a CDU politician, I think, when he cheered after a one election. And then the last example, um, well, that I wouldn't criticize that too much because it actually matches the image. It's very fitting. Recently, there was this Eurovision uh, song contest where every uh, nation here in Europe and a little bit beyond also, they send uh, some artist or some band for a song contest. And all of these um, other participants, they were um, holding their national flags during some promotional video. But the German um, combo, they were the only music group that had this um, monstrosity of a made up um, globalist flag and I well I can't really criticize that because look at these guys I mean uh, I really don't want them to hold the German flag if you know what I mean it would look out of place so maybe maybe that flag fits better to what they actually are or what they're trying to represent be that as it may this is the group that Germany sent to this contest. So that gives you an idea of where mainstream Germany is positioned, obviously, in this cultural question. Of course, the average German has very little to do with mainstream Germany because it is a tiny, tiny group of very well-connected uh, globalists um, who are controlling what is written in the news or how public discourse is shaped etc so mainstream Germany and average Germany are completely different things and I think the average German well, I think they would rather celebrate Stolzmonat than the other thing so who knows maybe in a couple of years when we have finally won June will officially become Stolzmonat and we will think of our great nation, our ancestors, and celebrate our families in this month. Who knows? Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. And uh, have a great week. Servus, Kameraden.